Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is part three. I do apologise, part three. It's been part one, part two, and it's now part three of the front end um, video. But if you'd have noticed, if I'd have put it all together, it would have been at least 40 minutes. And I don't want to make a 40 minute video. I'd rather make three 15 or three 20 minute videos. Um, I don't want you guys to get bored. Um, not that you get bored of me, but yeah, you may well. So, this is Tom, this is T-Dubs. Welcome back. Let's get cracking. Okay, so first things first, um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, fabrication, as it were, on the new bumper um, to house the DRLs. So I'm gonna bring you in and we'll get those bits cut out so you can see if you are fitting something like that yourself, where you've got a cut. Let's take a look at this. So the first part we're gonna try and remove uh, is a panel in this area here. So it's almost like a square. Um, I'm gonna move around the other side. And what I've got here is like a multi-tool and I'm just gonna slowly cut out a square in this section here. Okay, that's the first piece now the next piece is again it's quite straightforward actually what you don't want to do is cut too low so I'm gonna cut this panel all the way down here I want to try and keep these fixing points at the bottom so there's a ridge that work goes all the way along here I want to keep that so I'm gonna run my cutter just above that ridge and now this side That's it. So that is the panel cut out for the DRLs. Right. At this point, it's a really good idea to have a couple of screws or bolts or whatever you're fixing your bumper back on with at the ready, rather than you trying to rush and get it fitted and something happen and you scrape it, you scrape your fresh paint or whatever. So, key is take your time. Let's offer her up, try and get a couple of bolts in, and then we'll do everything up, and we'll get the fogs in, and then the DRLs in, and at least the bumper will be on in hopefully a couple of minutes. But well, for you it will be, for me it might be like an hour. Okay, get the temperature switch kicked in. Let's get it high enough into those two brackets. Okay, she's in position. Now all I'm gonna do now is get a couple of bolts in where they need to be so that I don't risk it falling over. So what we're gonna do now is get, um, get ourselves on each side and start with the 10 mil bolts so there's two on either side i'm going to get those done and then i'll move on to the next bit and the next bit and the next bit and the next bit and the next bit two 10 mil bolts on each side and the torque screws that's the two sides done now we're on to the remaining screws on the front of the van right all the screws and bolts are done this side and that side underneath in the front it's just these three bolts to do underneath here the wheel arch which connects to underneath the bumper <coughs> okay what i'm going to do is go ahead and fit it um and the background noise is horrendous so i'm going to take out what i'm saying to you after this bit and i'm literally going to I add the voiceover afterwards. A bit old school, um, but it means that this stupid rain noise won't be in the video. This is the DRL. If you have it facing you um, as if it was on the van, the cables will fall in on the right hand side. Um, flip her over. Um, on the uh, back side, the holes should line up, and in the kit, you get four 
um, little um, silver colored um, Phillips heads. Um, so pop those in and get those done up nice and tight. It's really strange doing a voiceover um, because I've obviously said something else, but by this point I can't hear because of the rain falling. It's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, so once they're done, uh, nice and tight. I do have on order still, I'm waiting for um, the uh, gloss black trim pieces that fit just underneath. There's a couple of little holes um, that you'll see um, occasionally just look as it's moving around and they fit in there and then this square patch at the bottom um, they supply you with a matte black um, almost like a textured finish sticker uh, I'm gonna make myself some gloss ones and pop those there instead uh, okay so let's get these fitted on the van and uh, hopefully the rain noise has stopped and I can allow normal sound Okay, so, <laughs> dodgy, 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 but we are going to apply some pressure. Quite a bit. And she's in. Yes, that did not sound very nice. But in all fairness, uh, the two or three or four sets of these that I've, I've fitted, I've never found a way where you can just push it in. Um, I believe even like the factory ones, you have to give a bit of a knock to get them in. Um, but yeah, that's in, happy with that. Uh, let's move on, I'm gonna try and fit the grill. Uh, what I'd like to try and be able to do, now that I've said about these earlier on in a video, or in the part two or one or whichever part it was, I'd like to try and be able to keep these. Um, it's nice to have a battery cover. Uh, I don't really want to have to try and buy another one. Uh, so I'm going to get the grill, we're going to offer it up, and then we're going to try and get it in place. So annoyingly, at some stage during this video, I actually stand on the battery cover, um, which was really irritating, but instead of being able to sell it, I've managed to actually get it be able to uh, fit nicely on the van. So I'm actually quite chuffed with it now. Uh, so this is the gloss black, black edition grill from Traveling Light. Again, um, on their website, you'll be able to track it down. Um, it's a really decent fit. Uh, and instead of having like the chrome inserts, they're like gloss black inserts, which is decent. So it will link in nicely to the gloss black theme that I've got going on as well as the blue on the van. When you come to fit it, it does line up with the existing fitting points on the van. So there's no need to drill or mark or anything like that. You can literally get it lined up, but just make sure when you come to fit it, you don't push too hard because you don't want to break any of the clips at the bottom. Once you've done that, you need to add the plastic um, screws to the top. There is three along the top, but what you may well need to do before you do this is open the holes up slightly. They are small. Obviously, the uh, grills come out of like a cast. Um, so the holes itself need just opening up slightly. It may be worth drilling them out slightly, but I just used a screwdriver and pushed the screwdriver through slightly so that I could get the plastic screws back in. Once I finish this, we're going to move on to fitting the gloss black badge, which also came in the kit. I've gone for a gloss black one it just sets it off nice you know it sets it off really plush right so there's a little key to these so you don't just bang it in there because you're going to snap all of these little bits and, and what have you in there 
you actually put it in at an angle, uh, make sure there's pressure on it, and then turn it into the middle. Simple as that really. Right, so I am now gonna fit the sport line lower, like apron, um, I suppose this bit. I just lift it over the camera. This bit. Wee. So we're now gonna get this bit on, and then we can get the fog light covers in too. Um, sorry about the rain noise, there's not a great deal I can do about the weather. Um, I picked a weekend to do this, and the weather's rubbish. I, I've just got to get it done, I'm afraid. So, um, to start with, I would like to call these the Z clips, and these actually mount onto the spoiler at the bottom, which I'll show you now. This is the underside of the spoiler, and these are the existing holes. If you're not fitting the little lip spoiler on afterwards, then by all means use these holes. But because I am, what I've done is I've moved up um, about an inch or so, drilled another hole for the, as I call them, Z clips to go in, so that you're able to fix this from the underneath to your van. Again, on the other side, I've done the same. So I've just come along a little bit, drilled an extra hole and fitted the Z clip. So I've moved the splitter into the position underneath the van and I'm using some of the packaging from the headlights just to prop it up slightly. I found that these um, got it to pretty much the right height. Once you're happy with the height, um, what you're going to need to do now is drill yourself um, a couple of holes in the front of the bumper behind the number plate. There's two um, small round openings for you to drill a hole. Once you've drilled the hole, in the kit supplied is two black ones of these. If you poke those in and push them in all the way in. Now we're going to look at doing the side, mounting the sides. So you're going to need two of these for each side, two washers and two of the smaller screws. To do this, you need to pop the smaller Z piece in line with the hole that's in the splitter already. Do this to the top and the bottom. Once you've done that, take the screw and the washer and do them up as tightly as you can. You may want to do this while the van's jacked up. Right, now we're on to fitting like the little spoiler, splitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'd, I used to call them a splitter, but apparently they're called a spoiler, and this is the splitter. I always get a little bit confused. <laughs> uh, right, so what I like to do is, I'm going to show you underneath in a second, um, but there is already a couple of holes that, oh sorry, yes that's right, there is already a couple of holes that do line up with this spoiler, splitter. I'm just going to call it the black thing that I'm putting on. Um, so the shiny gloss black thing that I'm putting on, there is already two holes, three, four holes that line up. So this one does, that one does, and uh, one of the two sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera around here, and I'm going to start on this side. But first of all, I'm just going to prop it up that side, so that I can get this side up, so that side's not flapping around on the floor. Okay, you're going to need uh, a few tools for this job. Um, one of them being a 10mm uh, ratchet spanner, one of them being a another 10mm socket. I'm going to use uh, an impact driver. I'm not going to do them up that tight with the impact driver, <laughs> obviously, but I am going to do them up tight. Uh, and then you're going to need a drill uh, to drill a couple of holes in underneath. Um, so as I'm over here, now when I was fitting the Z brackets for the installation of this, uh, it shows you that I drilled a couple of holes further up. That's because of this. These holes are now needed to mount the spoiler, splitter, glossy black thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. And we're going to make sure it doesn't fall off that nice pink plastic that's right by the camera. That's probably now blocking your view. Then what you're going to need to do is get your nut and washer 
and drop them up onto the top. Get them roughly in the right place. So the washer's in there. I can just poke that through and the washer's on. And then all I'm gonna do for now, just so I can get this in the right place, is just get this nut on finger tight. So that's in position. What I'm gonna do now is do exactly the same on the other side. So nut or bolt and washer, hole, locate the hole, excelente, pop the washer on the top and then get the nut on finger tight which is easy to say but sometimes hard to accomplish. Oh, big word. Right. What we're going to do now is the same here in the middle, but what we're going to need to do first is use the drill. And there is already a hole in the bumper or the splitter as it were, but there isn't one in the bumper. So what we're going to do is because it's loose, we can gently nip through here and line her up in that hole and then we can add a hole here. Okay. All right, and then get your nut on. And then what we're gonna do is once we're happy with the position that we've got it in, and the rest of the already drilled bolts hole, so this one here, we're gonna have to drill one for the middle uh, and drill one for either end. Once we're happy that it's lined up, uh, we'll then get them nice and tight. All right, so next one is the middle. No, it's not. Next one is the one that's already drilled. So it's the, I guess the next, the third one along, we'll leave the middle one out for a minute because um, we're going to probably want to twist it slightly to get it to fit a little bit better. Um, and then we'll get the two end ones drilled in and then we'll get it all tightened up once we're happy. Okay, there's that one. Let's get the nut through. washer on this one's a little bit more fiddly and get the 10 mil on do just pop that bolt through a little bit now I can get that tightened up right I'm gonna go and match up the other side and then we're gonna sort out the last one which is in the middle all right happy with that it's in the same place I'm just going to pop my drill bit through. Right, let's go nice and steady. Okay, nut in. A bolt. I always get these confused, mixed up. That's not even the word. I always get these things round the wrong way. Nut and bolt. Hmm. All right, make sure whichever ones you're using, the nut or the bolts. Oh, I dropped him. There he is. And we'll just lightly get him on the top. So it's in place. Right, the last one to sort out is the middle one. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a hole for that one. And then we'll get the bolt in. And this time, this has just got a locking nut on it. So we're just gonna get that one fitted in. Right, all that's left for me to do now is just go around and tighten them all up. What I plan to do is pop a um, ratchet on the top if I can. And my 10 mil using what on my 10 mil my 10 mil onto my little gun here and then just nip them up happy days I'm gonna go around and get them all done and then we'll drop her back on the ground once I've fitted my engine guard and then We'll move on to the bonnet. 
Right, so now we're ready to get the bonnet on. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it into place. Now I put these little uh, soft pads on either side, just so if I need to rest it down slightly, I can. Uh, and then what we're going to do after that is finger tight the two side bolts in place, and then we're going to pop the um, bonnet strut onto the bonnet. Uh, if I take you over here, what I've already done is put the um, sound deadening uh, bonnet guardy malarkey on uh, and the 12mm uh, bolt with the like ball end socket as it were for the bonnet strap. left to do now is to um, now what I haven't done sorry let me just jump in here is put the um, the actual lock on itself because uh, I'm going to be wanting to open and close and open and close and open and close so what we're going to do is just gently gently close it down checking either side okay now we're going to get all the bolts done up and we're going to try and get it lined up. Now this part is quite tricky, but my advice to you is to try and get the bolts to do up where they were done up. So if, you've, if you're lucky enough, like myself, to have um, it painted, the nuts that is, so when you were to do it, you then have the holes where the nuts should have been, that's what you need to be trying to line it up with. going to take a little bit of time to get it perfect. So I suggest this part is part that you don't rush. So in the travelling light kit you get new little rubber bungs, I suppose they're called. Uh, what you want to do now, if you're happy with the actual bonnet position itself, is to get these rubber bungs in, uh, and then you can get the height of the bonnet right. And then what we want to be doing is fitting the, um, the catch on and the washer jets. What I'm going to do is get one of these done up so it's kind of pinched and I'm just going to lower the bonnet down and then all I know now is that I've got to move it over ever so slightly because I've lined it up and then I can get the others done up. Okay, I've got a couple of these which I took off the last van. I'm just going to pop them in a couple of holes. I don't know whether I'm going to need them or not. And then again, I'm just going to test it out for fitting wise. So that fits nicely into the catch. And I can release it. And of course, it's on the bonnet strut now, which is lovely. So let's pop her down. And close her up. And that's it guys, a massive thank you to everyone that's watched part one, two and this part three. 
um, I didn't expect it to be as long as it was um, but I didn't want to miss any bits out uh, so thanks for watching thanks to those of you that have subscribed recently um, thanks very much for supporting the channel in episode 10 I'm going to be fitting a speaker box into the back of the van so subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and follow me for some more videos this is Tom this is T-Dubs. Thanks for watching.